Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. Johnny May Pierre Louis, Neil Robinson, was born on December 20, 1927, and is remembered as the person who created the promotional program that brought nationwide fame to the Oakwood Aeolians. While attending Central High School in Ohio, Johnny May quickly became a popular soloist and sang with an elite group, the A Cappella Chorale. It was also while she was in high school that the Robinson family became Seventh-day Adventists. After high school, Johnny May declined several music scholarship offers and enrolled at Oakwood College, now University, in 1946. She joined the college choir and was immediately selected to be part of the Aeolian Ensemble, founded by Eva B. Dykes. Johnny May was one of the Aeolian soloists, served as a member of a female trio, and as one of, the, of two female vocalists, both of whom traveled with a male chorus on public relations tours. In 1948, Johnny May transferred to Emmanuel Mission College, now Andrews University, to complete a bachelor's degree in music and in French. In 1964, Johnny May finished her master's degree in music from Andrews University with emphasis in choral conducting and voice. In 1952, Johnny May married Sam Pierre Louis and traveled with him to Haiti. In 1954, the Pierre Louis family returned to Oakwood and that same year, Johnny May began teaching full-time in the music department of Oakwood. In 1956, she was appointed to direct the college choir. While working with the college choir in the Aeolians, Johnny May organized many tours to cities close to Oakwood, as well as many different states, including a Western tour where they presented at Long Beach Convention Center for the Pacific Union Youth Congress. They sang at a 1965 World Fair in New York, were featured on NBC TV, and one Huntsville TV station recorded tapes of performances for rebroadcast during one Christmas season. To find out more about the life of John Monet, Pierre Louis, and other pioneers, please visit the Encyclopedia of Seventh-day Adventists online at encyclopedia.adventist.org. This has been a look at this week in Adventist history. 